Welcome to my studio today, guys. My name is Lars Eric Robinson. My company is Lars Arts, all around entertainment. And my slogan basically means that I deal with anything that has to do with art. And because I've been in the business so long, I deal with anything that has to do with entertainment. And I know a lot of different entertainers, being a caricature artist. But today we're talking about how to use a sponge and what, what the different techniques that you could do with sponge. This is a basic sponge here. And how do you paint with a sponge and how do you use a sponge in paintings? It's actually a very good medium to use. You would think, oh, that's strange. But it's not. It actually covers a lot, lot, lot of areas. You could take your paint and you could put it on there on one side. And if you just want to block in a spot really quick, it does it really fast without taking a, taking a brush. So if I wanted to have his hair coming all the way down here, I can actually thin that out more and add it on here. And it's also good for, I did a glazing technique here and I showed how the sponge, I take the dry part of it and I actually just rub it in here if I wanted to pull out that whites. It helps you actually blend too. You can take that dry side and it blends your acrylics a lot better. You can use that to blend things with. So I would believe sponges are an artist's best friend, especially if you want to finish something easy, because you could take one side of it, and when you're done at the end of the day, just put it in your bucket and let it soak and clean it out. And then the next day, let it dry, and you'll be able to use it again. So there's all different kind of brushes. You could actually take it opaquely. And if it had more of a texture, like you see the sponges you have in the ocean or natural, it creates effects. So for example, I was starting to do some freckles here, but we can actually continue a little bit more. This creates an effect here that, that you won't be able to use with a brush. And if you're not happy with that, just take your water again before it dries and just blend it in there. So hope that helps you guys understand a little bit how to use sponges. Keep experimenting and keep sponging away, like SpongeBob says.